As Denver continues to grow, so has its number of traffic accidents. In 2015, there were nearly 17,000 crashes involving cars, bikes, or pedestrians. Last year, 61 people in Denver died in traffic-related accidents. The city wants to bring that number to zero. In 2016, Denver joined Vision Zero, an international effort to eliminate all traffic-related deaths and severe injuries. It's absolutely unacceptable that we are having lives lost on our streets. And sometimes it's feel, it feels as if it's inevitable. We just wait for the numbers to happen. But we can take action. Denver is the latest city in the U.S. to join the Vision Zero network. Over the coming months, the city will collect and analyze data from CDOT and DPD on crashes and gather insight from the public on unsafe areas around town. Then city departments and community organizations will work together on solutions to make streets safer, particularly for pedestrians, who made up 38 percent of the fatal crashes between 2011 and 2015. There's no sort of program that you can sign up to and say, I'm going to do this and I'll, I'm going to follow these steps and then we'll get to zero. You really have to understand what the context is in your city and how it's going to work there and have it be very data driven. So people that are also driving in cars, they have, we have fatalities with them too, but it's that higher percentage of folks that are dying that are riding bicycles and walking. And unfortunately, they're not a very big pop portion of the population. So only 6.1% of the folks are commuting by walking and biking, but nearly 50% of the folks that are dying from um, crashes are happening to those same, that same population. Director of Transportation Chrissy Fanganello says that Denver may never reach zero, but it's a worthwhile goal. But at the end of the day, it's the right goal, vision zero. What would you have it be? Vision 10? Ten of us are non-expendable. None of us are expendable.